fusion middleware to us is an enablement technology. It allows us to traverse between point to point to application integration right up to service oriented architecture. Yara, like most organizations, has taken an approach over the last 10 or 12 years of developing customized applications to meet their business needs. The net effect of that is we've ended up with a very large number of technologies in excess of about 35. We have approximately 250 plus applications and they're predominantly built in application-centric modes. Net effect is you've had a large number of business users who've had to become mini system administrators just to perform basic business functions. Data mining, even doing basic reports, been out of reach for the majority of the organization. What we've done is taken, as opposed to replacing the core systems, which would have taken a significant amount of time and cost, is we've actually applied a layer on top of it. What we've done is we've built up a semantic layer, which translates the detailed systems into a plain English translation, which any user can understand. So creating a single dictionary effectively for the organization. What we've then done is provide them a single presentation layer using Oracle's business intelligent enterprise tool. So when most of our business users and managers talk about a single reporting system for financials, that's true, but it isn't the one core system underneath it. It's a number of disparate systems which we've pulled together and made them effectively talk to each other using integration and using our BI tool set. These are keys to actually getting your, or enabling your knowledge worker. Without these toolkits available at their fingertips, they start having to build applications and build repositories of their own. What you've got here is the ability to now build it once, but leverage it across an organization for whatever its purpose may be because the data, as a rule, is non-transient. It's persistent. What you're doing is actually applying either an aggregation to it or you're doing a slice and dice on that information. So it doesn't actually change. You're just presenting it in a different form. So that allows you to build it once, keep your total cost of ownership down, while actually leveraging the number of times you reuse it, hence increasing its value.